Tomorrow is Giving Tuesday, created back in 2012 as a way for people to support nonprofits and philanthropies during a time of year when retail spending events like Black Friday and Cyber Monday are in the spotlight. But nonprofits in Rhode Island need your support now more than ever. 12 News reporter Kayla Fish joins us now with the results of a new study and the message from nonprofit leaders tonight. Kayla? Giving Tuesday encourages people to donate their time and money to nonprofits and philanthropies that matter to them. But here in Rhode Island, a new study found many of these organizations are at a breaking point. It's really, really concerning. A new survey of nearly 300 Rhode Island nonprofits found most of these groups are operating on a razor thin margin. And as people prepare to take part in Giving Tuesday, Nonprofit and philanthropy leaders say they need your help now more than ever. We're all thinking about how this is great, the work that charities do, and so on this day, we're going to support them. But we can't look at it as a one day of partnership. According to the survey from the United Way of Rhode Island and the Grant Makers Council in the state, 60% of nonprofits say demand for programs or services remains higher than pre pandemic levels. While the resources that became available during the pandemic, to support the response to COVID and, and socioeconomic and, and medical needs, those are starting to go away. The needs in community are not. The survey found more than a third of the state's nonprofits have three months or fewer of cash reserves. Inflation is also taking a toll, not only increasing costs for nonprofits, but leading to an uptick in the number of people seeking help and a decrease in the number of people able to give. So if you don't have a way to, sus to provide sustained investments in these organizations, you could see essential services uh, or, or organizations providing essential services closing their doors. While Giving Tuesday helps put nonprofits front and center, leaders say they need continued support. Think about Giving Tuesday, but also Giving Wednesday and Giving 2023 um, so that you can really be an ongoing support and partner. That support comes not only from the public, but also from state and local lawmakers. They are in a key position to allocate resources in a way that goes be above and beyond what local individual donors can do. For more details on the survey or ways to participate in Giving Tuesday, you can head to our website, WPRI.com. In studio, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.